Question number 24. The equation of a curve is y is equals to x cubed plus x squared minus x minus 1. A, part A, uh, determine the stationary points of the curve. So the stationary points is where the curve uh, uh, make a turn. Uh, you can see this is a cubic function. So the stationary point is a, the turning point uh, at this point. The gradient at that point is equal to zero. So we need to differentiate this uh, to get the gradient. So dy over dx is equals to this will give us 3x squared uh, then we have plus we have 2x uh, minus 1 so that is a gradient so to get the stationary point we have said that uh, normally it is uh, the gradient is 0 at the turning point so we equate 3x squared uh, plus 2x uh, uh, minus 1 is equals to 0 the gradient is 0 at the turning point uh, so this is a quadratic equation and therefore we can write it in terms of factors we write it is 3x uh, minus 1 and then we have uh, x plus 1 uh, is equals to 0 implying that x is equals to you take one to the other side you get it is 1 over 3 uh, or x is equals to minus 1 so this means that the turning point uh, uh, the, at, at x is equals to the stationary point x is equals to uh, that y is equal uh, and or x is equals to here we have uh, with, when we take x to the other side uh, it is minus 1 not 1 so we now need to find the y so that we determine the turning so we need to find the value of y when x is equal to a that and when x is equal to a 1 so you just take uh, we have the equation uh, the function y you substitute for a that it will be 1 over 3 that is x cubed and then we have plus 1 over 3 uh, this is squared uh, minus 1 and 3 into bracket uh, uh, that is to power 1 no, no problem and then we minus uh, 1 uh, you can use your computer to a uh, calculator to compute this you'll be able to get that minus 32 over 27 so this means that the turning point is a third the value of x is a third and the value of y is minus 32 over 27 uh, then we need to find uh, when x is equals to that is uh, when x is equals to 1 what is the value of y it is 1 cubed uh, plus 1 squared uh, minus 1 minus 1 that will give you 0 so the other turning point is x is a uh, 1 and y is 0 so those are the turning points that we have we look at uh, part b part, um, uh, part a roman number 2 the nature of stationary point so the, the other stationary point we had x is equals to minus 1 so we say x is equals to minus 1 so you check the gradient at, at because it is minus 1 the value that is uh, before minus 1 is 2 so you can substitute dy over dx uh, you substitute x is equals to minus 2 uh, so this will be minus 8 that, that is you substitute here minus 2 you get for that is 12 uh, so that is uh, minus 2 squared is uh, 4 uh, times 3 is 12 uh, then we have minus 2 times minus 2 is 4 and we have minus 1 and this will give you uh, 7 so gradient is positive and when the gradient is positive we represent it like that uh, from there we check uh, from minus 1 it is 0 uh, we have already worked out at uh, gradient at 0 it is negative uh, so we have the gradient is 0 and this is negative 
So at that point, uh, the, the the nature of the stationary point is maximum. So that is how we test how whether uh, that is how we test the nature of uh, stationary points. Part B, we are to determine the equation of the tangent to the curve at x is equals to three. Uh, so we can get that by the getting the gradient. Uh, the gradient at x is equals to uh, 1. So we substitute in our gradient function and that will give us, we have 3x squared. So this means it is 3 multiplied by 1, which is 3 uh, plus uh, 2 times 1 is 2 and we minus 1 and this will be able to give uh, when we minus 1 there we have uh, 5 5 minus 1 that is equals to 4 so we know the gradient of that tangent the gradient is a, a tangent is a line touching one point of the curve uh, we know the gradient we can get the one point so you say y is equal to we substitute one in our function so it is one cubed uh, then we have plus uh, one squared minus one minus one and that will give us zero so now that we have uh, the tangent uh, touches this point that is one and zero and we know the gradient is four after substituting our our one in our gradient function we can get the equation a y minus zero uh, divided by x minus one is equals to the gradient and when you cross multiply you'll be able to get y is equals to you'll be able to get y is equals to four x and then uh, minus four so that is the equation of that tangent finally we have our our uh, the equation of the normal to the curve at x is equals to one so a normal is a is a line that is perpendicular to the tangent and uh, because we know the gradient of the tangent we can get its gradient is equals to uh, minus one over four this is because we know when you multiply gradient uh, of two perpendicular lines the product is equals to a minus one so if you multiply minus a quarter multiplied by four that should give you minus one and since we are we are told x is equals to one we have seen that uh, when x is is one y is zero in uh, the above uh, when we are dealing with the tangent so we can get the equation y minus uh, zero uh, divided by x minus uh, one is equals to minus a quarter and when you when you cross multiply you'll be able to get the equation of this uh, normal is uh, minus one over four x and then when you multiply uh, minus one times minus uh, a quarter that will give you plus a quarter so that is the equation of the normal to this tangent so that's how you work out that you did that in form four or you that this is covered in form four uh, that is in integration uh, which is a very interesting topic uh, because if you are just uh, follow that uh, it is easy very easy for you to score uh, for you to score a whole mark that is 10 mark so that's the end of that question and end of that paper uh, so I hope you have followed what we have revised and you should be able to apply in your uh, revision and also in your final exam.